Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella B. Tarot by Kachu again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So guys, the girl's Patreon channel is up and running. So if you'd like to support your girl, you'll be able to find a link in the description box below. I do post two exclusive videos per week, so go check it out if you feel called to. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about who's spying on your social media and why. So pile number one, you're going to be the Rose Quartz Crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the Quartz Crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the Amethyst Crystal. So again, pile number one, Rose Quartz Crystal. Pile number two, Quartz Crystal. And pile number three, Amethyst Crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Palwan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Billy Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the rose quartz crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So, my pal number one, who's spying on your social media and why? Who's spying on your social media, my pal number one? We have the Queen of Wands. This could be somebody who could be very competitive because they like to be in the spotlight. Um, this could also be somebody who is very attractive. Like I said, they're competitive. So they're attractive, but they want to be the only attractive person in the room or the only smart person in the room or the only successful person in the room. Mm, I feel like they see you as competition. Who's spying on your social media? We have the Lovers and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, I feel like this person's competing for a lover. Something to do with a lover. This person could be a Gemini, because we do have the Lovers here, but they could be competing for someone else. Like, um, like maybe let's say somebody likes you and then this person likes this the person that likes you you may not be aware that this person likes you but this person could be like jealous or like definitely competitive energy for some of you it could also be some sort of creative endeavor this person is like envious of you or jealous of you or jealous of your skill sets and your talent and they don't want to see you succeed so they're watching you but i feel like for a lot of you it's like a lover somebody wants the person that wants you and this is this queen of wands that wants this person or they want some sort of like success or public recognition that you're getting they feel like it's theirs that they deserve it like that it shouldn't be you like this person has like narcissistic tendencies because that's how narcissistic people are like they believe that things should be theirs because just because <laughs> like 
<laughs> you gotta laugh at this stuff because it's funny like what okay what do we have here yeah we have temperance sagittarius energy this is somebody you know they are in your face this is somebody who watches you maybe 24 7 on social media they come off as very calm cool and collected and wise beyond their years but this person is very deceptive okay who's um spying on your social media who's spying on your social media yeah we have the queen of swords for some of you it could be two people because we have the queen of wands and we have sagittarius and then we have the que uh, queen of swords and we have the lovers which is gemini energy for you some of you it's like two people spying on your social media two women or feminine energy don't have to be women but one of them is very uh like stoic with the queen of swords i feel like this person whoever like i feel like it's two people now because because of the energy that i'm getting here it's two feminine energies spying on your social media but it's like competition they're watching you religiously like when i tell you like clockwork like it's like they're nine to five <laughs> who's spying on your social media like holy who's spying on your social media we have the world yeah the world card they could be at a distance from you like they don't have to live in the same city as you or in your vicinity it, but it just they they definitely spy on you like clockwork when i tell you who's spying on your social media yeah we have the empress and we have the two of pentacles for some of you one of these women could be a mother but i feel like they're spying on you um one of the reasons is because you're very attractive they find you very attractive with the empress energy and what i'm getting here also is that they're spying on your social media because of like your creativity with the ace of wands and the empress like you have some sort of like flair or swagger to you you have your own unique style you stay in your lane you're not you're not trying to be something that you're not and then it's like kind of like irritating these women because they may like follow trends or like do things that other people are doing they're not really their true authentic self and you are so there's like something that's bothering them there's something about your authenticity that is bothering these women but they're definitely watching you it's like two women i'm getting we have the two pentacles yeah I feel like these two women with the two of pentacles they work in cahoots together like they are friends it's not two different women that you don't know about it's like a two friends that are watching you one fire sign and one air sign it could be a gemini and a sagittarius because that's what we have here don't have to be it could also be a libran with the empress we could also be a taurus okay but I feel like the Empress is like your energy. They're watching you because you're so beautiful. You're so creative. You're authentic. Okay. You're not following trends. You're doing your own thing. And they might not like that. And they could be watching you because of a man. If you are a woman. And if you are a man. It could also be for another man or a, a woman. Or it could be like men watching you for a woman or man watching you for men so if it's like the same sex it's like the same thing so if you're a woman and you date the same sex it could be like they're watching you for another woman because they want that woman or one of them want that woman and then <laughs> the other woman wants you and they're mad okay so who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media okay no that's too many cards just one please who's spying on your social media yeah we have the king of swords you see I'm telling you for some of you like hmm, it's like a group because now we have the king of swords it could be like you know somebody's <laughs> okay because you know how I was saying that you know like they're watching you for another man the king of swords could be the man that's watching you that wants you and they this man is watching you too but these two are watching you because this man wants you the king of swords wants you whether it's Gemini Libra Aquarius don't have to be but this king of swords wants you and these two women are watching or those two feminine energies are watching you because this king of swords wants you that's why i was getting like it's a lover somebody's watching you spying on your social media because a person that they want wants you or it could also be their partner is watching you so they're jealous because you're like maybe they cut their partner 
like scrolling through your profile on Instagram and they were liking your pictures or they were like just scrolling or they maybe they've noticed that your their partner is always on your page like always returning like you know sometimes you just watch somebody's page and then you move on to the next but this person is like maybe they have you in their history because they probably type your name it could be somebody that you actually know that you never dated or maybe you dated this person briefly and you guys broke up but this person still stuck on you but yeah like this is like some drama here <laughs> somebody's going through like but you're not involved in this drama it's going on behind the scene you're not aware of this because you're minding your business it's just like they're spying on you because of like this person this king of swords so who's i'm telling you you see i can't make it up guys two cups it's like a couple the woman is watching you because their man is watching you <laughs> and then their friend is like like investigating trying to figure out who you are why the men is always watching your page it's like that's what i'm getting here and you're there minding your business living your life so who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media yeah like a player energy somebody who could be er like already in a relationship and they're acting single who's spying on your social media and they're causing problem there in yeah six of swords somebody who is at a distance from you it could also be like like i said the man like the masculine energy could be could have been somebody that you've dated but that you're you walked away from and you don't care it's like a player and they're in a relationship but i feel like maybe when they were with you they were playing a game or like you knew they had another person a third party so who's spying on your social media yeah you see three people three of pentacles guys and we have three people i'm telling you it's three people watching you it's a player energy the king of swords is a player he's playing games with this either he's dating the queen of swords which i feel he is because he came right uh be below the king of the queen of swords and then the queen of wands could be like the friend that they're like you know gathering together and then they're they're spending their whole afternoon <laughs> or on whatsapp talking about you exchanging pictures and stuff that's what i'm getting here but it's the three of them with the three of pentacles they know each other okay all three of them know each other so who's spying on your social media yeah nine of wands somebody that you bruised their ego yeah this is somebody that you've dated briefly okay and you were like ah you i heard vague <laughs> maybe you're from montreal <laughs> like vague susa like you're like ah, i'm i'm good yeah you could be haitian because that's like mostly i i hear haitian from montreal say that like I've never heard like Haitians from other like parts of the world say Vaxusa like but I maybe but like usually I from Montreal I've heard like that term in Montreal but like it's like saying like nah screw this like like move on from it so I feel like this is what happened you said like okay you know what I'm not dealing with this person because like I feel like they're a player um, with the Knight of Wands maybe they had another party and you're like I'm not getting involved with this third party circus so I'm moving on and you bruise this person's ego because they, they try to like I feel like this person really liked you but maybe they were not ready for a commitment they wanted to play around have like a bunch of people entertain a bunch of people at the same time and you were like I'm not doing this like it's either you're with me or you're not with me and you decided to bounce because this person couldn't make up their mind so then you let them be but this person is still stuck on you like I feel like you were this person's choice like number one choice like they had other options but like you were the main choice that they wanted but initially they were not ready but then you're not you didn't wait around for this person so you moved on and now this person stuck on you and then whoever settled for this person so whoever was like the third party which is the queen of swords she stayed with this person she decided to stay but then she didn't really win because it's like you won by default he didn't really want you or she didn't really want you you just because the other party left then you won you know it's not really that you didn't win anything so who's spying on your social media yeah you see the hierophant 
This person could be a Taurus as well because we have Taurus twice with the Empress. Mm -mm. This person wants a commitment with you now. Okay, but they were in, in a relationship. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody who's very attracted to you with the Ace of Wands. Who's spying on your social media? Yeah, the death card. Somebody that you ended things with. And then the other parties that are watching you. This person could be a Scorpio too. Who's spying on your social media? Guys, I can't make it up. The lovers. I can't make it up. Somebody that you ended a connection with that's spying on your social media. But these two women are with this person. Like they are related, not related in the sense of that family, but there is a relation here. And then it's because this person, maybe they, they got married to the other, the third party. Maybe they were forced into a relationship with a third party. Maybe they were... Uh, like yeah I feel like this person didn't really want the third party but the third party was just available they wanted you but then you bruised this person's ego you put an end to this you're like I'm not playing this person's game and now we have yeah this is like somebody that they wanted you and they still do with the lovers being here twice but I feel like you don't want this person that's why their ego is bruised like they're still spying they're still watching in hopes that you would like show them like you're still interested or something like that. Why are they spying on your social media? You see the two of cups wanted to come out. Why are they spying on your social media? Yeah, nine of pentacles because you're living the life of luxury. You're, you are single, independent, looking nice, looking fly. And now this person's like, uh-uh, I want my old thing back. Like I want this person back. Woo, Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. This person is seeing you as like the full package. They want to build with you. They're watching. And also these women are watching your pockets. That's why they're spying on your social media. Like they're watching how you're living. They're judging how you're living. Wondering how you make your money. Why are they spying on your social media? That's too many cards. Just one, please. Yeah. Okay. This person wants to reconcile with you. That's why they're spying on your social media. They're seeing you like living your best life with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And then they want to they, they want to reconcile with you to uh, be able to make amends with you and then come back into your life because they want to build with you with the Ten of Pentacles. Like this King of Swords wants to reconcile. That's why they're spying. They want to find out a way to get back into your good graces. And they're trying to see if like there's a sign that you're still interested like you know let's say if you post memes this person wants to see like oh my god like is she posting a meme or is he posting a meme about me um like you know just to, just to try to test the waters before they come back why are they spying on your social media because you look good with the queen of wands okay you look fly you're independent self-sufficient why are they spying on your social media yeah they want to come back with the six of pentacles and the wheel of fortune they want a second chance they want to work things out like now they want to put an effort into this connection and they're hoping that you would give them a chance with the wheel of fortune like they're looking for a sign that the wheel is turning in their favor so they're watching you gauging to see what you're doing what you're posting they're trying to like um like i said test the waters that's why they're spying they want to have a clue that you're still interested. Like if you show any sign of interest in them, maybe this person will try to like a picture and see if you're going to like their picture back or something like that. Or they're going to watch your story and, and then like your story or something. Like I feel like they're going to try to do something to see how you're going to react. And if you give them the green light, they're going to come forward. And that's why they're spying. To like um, strategically come back into your life okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one bye hi pal two welcome to my channel this is stella bd tarot by catch you again with another video so my pile number two you pick the quartz crystal and this is going to be your reading okay 
so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way that i like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pal number two who's spying on your social media and why who's spying on your social media and why Ooh, this is a family member with the Ten of Cups or somebody that you've considered family. Mm -hmm. This is somebody you don't talk to anymore. You cut ties with, you went no contact. Who's spying on your social media? Temperance and the lovers. Wow. The temperance and the lovers came out for pile number one as well but this is not the same energy okay like i'm really getting like this is somebody oh this is somebody that you could have had a family with like you know a baby daddy or baby mom spying on your social media or multiple people in your family okay who's spying on your social media yeah we have the knight of cups yeah i feel like it could be multiple people in your family spying on your social media you're not talking to these people anymore um this these are the people that may have gaslighted you or made you feel like you were not uh, worthy of love or they made you feel like you're not um good enough like there's an energy of sorrow and sadness from you that i'm getting my pile number two because of what they did to you but i feel like you've healed from this you overcame this but that sadness that you've experienced in life that sorrow that you experienced in life that rejection that you experienced in life came initially from your family and then it repeated itself in relationships this is what i'm getting here you had to overcome that because of what these people did to you but i feel like it's a no contact here who's spying on your social yeah tower mm -mm. these people are having a tower moment because they, they didn't take you seriously like maybe you moved from your hometown or something like that or you did a drastic change with the tower and now ever since then like these people like initially i feel like they didn't take you seriously they didn't think that you were going to leave or you were going to do this drastic drastic change because they were so used to you being a certain way that whenever you implemented this change and reinforced your boundaries now they're having a tower moment like they're realizing that you know you're serious like you don't want to talk to these people anymore like you don't f with these people anymore and they cannot reach you like some of them they're spying through so like a fake account because you may have blocked them on their main account so they had to create a fake account to spy on you but they're having a tower moment realizing that you're not playing games with them like you're serious about like reinforcing your boundaries here who's spying on your social media yeah we have the knight of swords it could be younger siblings or younger cousins or something like that with the knight of cups and the knight of swords or people in the same age group as you so like cousins siblings okay the same age group i'm getting with the knight of cups and the knight of swords doesn't matter your age group that you're in is somebody in the same one okay Somebody who could be very quick with their words or, you know, they just say things without thinking. Yeah, they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you with the Four of Cups. Like you're not interested in like re rekindling this connection. Some of you didn't go um, to someone's wedding. Somebody's pissed. That's what I heard. You didn't go to their wedding. They invited you, but you didn't go because you don't mess with them like that. And you felt like it was to rub it in your face or something. That's what I'm getting here. Like you didn't go to somebody's wedding. A family member's wedding. That was recently, maybe in the summer or something like that. Like, um, well, we still in the summer technically, but <laughs> summer's almost over. But yeah, like maybe like in July or something or June, end of June, the person got married and they invited you and you, but I feel like, you know what I'm getting? Like maybe they invited you last minute. Like... 
you know like when you get married and you get proposed to you get engaged you don't get married the next day like most people don't you know what i mean like most people they plan for this so i feel like this person was engaged maybe last year but they just invited you like maybe two weeks before the wedding so you felt like it was just like a last minute thing like you were not a priority on the list so you're like uh -uh, i'm not going that's what i'm getting here that's the energy okay so what's um who's spying on your social media yeah you see some of the ones guys i can't make it up you block these people you're you're putting up boundaries with these people i can't make this up like seven of wands you're protecting your energy from these people yeah like you block them on social media and then you're not playing those games but they're still spying on you through fake accounts so who's spying on your social media yeah knight of wands i'm telling you this like people in the same age group as you so if you are a woman it's your other siblings that are like women or cousins that are women and if you're a man the same thing your male cousins or your male siblings there's three of them they're like because i'm getting like it's like an age group it's similar because we all have knights here yeah like and they always click up or gang up on you they used to always gang up on you when you guys were kids maybe like i feel like even if you guys are in the same age group so let's say for instance an age group would be 25 to 34 okay that's the same like you know when you come like you categorize age group this is like similar age group like nine years apart like is that's the same age group i'm getting here you might be the youngest in that age group and then they were a little bit older than you and they used to always team up on you. This is what I'm getting here. Like, I feel like some of them were like, like whoever was the green leader in that group was very vicious towards you. So who's spying on your social media? Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, because four of wands is like wedding, celebration, good news someone who recently got married that's who's spying on your social media it's one of them three got married and they invited you last minute and you decided not to go and then somebody's in their feelings about it with the tower because they were not expecting you to back like uh not back down and i feel like because maybe in the past they used to do that to you and then you needed to prove yourself you would always go or try to like force your way into these people's lives or like be accepted by them and now you don't need their validation and they're they feel some type of way about it it's like you don't care what they think of you anymore and it's like how dare you and it's like boy bye who's buying on your social media like boy bye yeah we have the world i feel like there's a cycle that ended with you and these people you're over them who's spying on your social media yeah guys death card scorpio energy you put an ending to this and it's funny how we have the knight of cups the knight of swords and the knight of wands we have gemini which is an air sign sagittarius which is a fire sign and then we have scorpio which is a water sign and we have those three elements here so it doesn't have to be those signs that they are but they're definitely those elements okay we have the ace of cups i feel like they're mad at you for loving yourself because maybe like i feel like you really needed their approval because it's family it's normal like you know what i mean like especially when you're young you want the people around you the people that are your caregiver people that you that is family to you to accept you because it's like, you know, this is your village. This is your community. And if you're not accepted by your community, it will definitely have an impact on you as a child. So it's like, it's normal that you felt some type of way about these people, like not including you in their plans or just always including you last minute, like you were not even worth their time. Like you're just a spare time or like just a pastime or something like that. And I feel like with this energy, you reclaiming your power is making them feel some type of way with the ace of cups but you definitely put an ending to this because we have the world and the death card like you're no longer talking to these people like i said at the beginning like you're done so who's spying on your social media 
yeah eight of swords ooh, ooh, they're in their head in their feelings okay but these are people that had you in that energy though in the eight of swords where you were always questioning yourself questioning your worth questioning everything about you where you felt like you were not you're never good enough who's spying on your social media Ooh, okay that's too many cards who's spying on your social media yeah okay no that's too many just one please who's spying thank you yeah we have the strength card they're amazed by your strength okay it's people that you had to like you had to overcome this because it was too much like you had to move away a lot of you had to move away from these people and then um impose some sort of boundaries with the seven of wands in order to heal because it was too much these people were like you know ooh, i heard destiny exchange i don't like that i don't like that at all i usually don't like bring up this type of like conversations because i don't usually pick up on stuff like that like destiny exchange but that's what i heard i don't like that mm -mm. they were jealous of you jealous of that's why they had to team up on you usually that's what it is like when somebody teams up on somebody like why do you have to like why do you have to be three against one like if you're that powerful you don't need to gang up on anybody like you can handle the person on your own but with the strength card this tells me that they were threatened by your strength they made you feel like small they wanted to break your spirit so who's spying on your social media yeah two of swords like people that you had to remove yourself from they made you feel like insignificant like it's family and it's sad that it's family that's doing that but it happens a lot more than people want to talk about that family betraying you who's spying on your social media yeah six of wands they were at one point in time in the spotlight they could be very successful or like very popular in their friend circle but like popularity does not mean anything because you could be very popular but it don't mean everybody likes you they just they may know you but i feel like these people whoever is like whoever is praising them or like people that are fake like them so it's like they're birds of the same feather flock together pretty much that's what i'm getting here so it's nothing to be envious of or jealous of because it's like they're all fake to each other anyways so who's spying on your social media mm, manipulative people i'm telling you gaslighting very abusive with their words or very manipulative conniving with their words with the, the magician because the magician is like um i heard oh i don't like what i oh I don't like what I heard okay I'm just not gonna say it because I just don't want to bring that energy I don't want you guys to like like feed into that energy because probably that's what they want so I'm just gonna keep it to myself but this is just whoever the ringleader is this person could be a Gemini because this is Gemini energy and in Virgo okay but we do have Gemini here already so that's what I'm saying like it could be a Gemini we don't have to be whoever this person is whoever was like the one that verbally abused you the most like this person it was very um like evil because that's what i'm getting from this person like they got a kick out of like seeing you cry or seeing you down like they make them feel good and that's evil so who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media we have the page of pentacles yeah, I feel like these people breadcrumbed you, but you had to heal and then you had to build yourself up slowly but surely with the knight, uh, with the page of pentacles, okay? And I'm like very proud of you, my pal number two, if it resonates with you, you did an amazing job by removing yourself from these people because look what we have at the bottom of the deck, the devil, like very toxic energy, okay? Like they wanted to keep you stuck or trapped in a state of mind. So why are they spying on your social media? I just saw the King of Pentacles. Why are they spying on your social media? Yeah, you see? Because now you're successful. Six of Wands. The tables are turning. You're being celebrated by other people. You're being praised. Okay. Why are they spying on your social media? 
yeah the two of swords because you're no longer invested in their in this connection you're no longer seeking their validation Be, like you're reinforcing your boundaries here you're not backing down you're standing your ground and they don't like that but especially it's your victory like your your successes your accolades is what's pissing them off so who's spying on your social media and why not who we already know who it is you're hating acts hating ass cousins or siblings or something so why are they spying on your social media and if it's not siblings or cousins it could be like a group of friend that you considered family okay for some of you it could be a group of friend don't have to be a uh, family Who's, why are they spying on your social media just one please yeah the, the ten of swords like they're having a tower moment and they feel betrayed because you don't want to you put an end to this with the world card you've accomplished something and they're spying on your social media to find out like what your next move is going to be but the ten of swords they feel betrayed by your success they feel betrayed by your level up they're upset with you for leaving them behind why are they spying on your social media why are they spying on your social media we have the nine of pentacles because you're living a life of luxury that's why they're spying they're watching your pockets they're watching your success with the six of wands your independence is triggering them because i feel like that's exactly what they didn't want they didn't want you to be successful they didn't want you to move forward in life they wanted you to stay stuck but because you overcame that emotional uh, abuse and obstacles and things that they did to you or said to you now you're living the best life okay so why are they spying on social media yeah nine of wands their ego is bruised okay you put an ending to something and the fact that you are a warrior you didn't give up they wanted to see your demise but to their surprise you're rising like a phoenix from the ashes okay and some of you some of them want to reconcile because it's three people. Some of them want to reconcile with you. But only to spy on you. Like to have a closer look into your life. So that way they could like, you know, manipulate you again. Or try to bring you down to a level where they feel comfortable. Because right now, how you're living your life, where you're going, how you're moving up. Is uncomfortable for them it's not like what they're used to they used to seeing you at the bottom or they used to see you needing their help needing their support and now you don't even need them anymore okay so that's all I have for you my pal number two I hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye Hi Bell3, welcome to my channel. This is Telebity Tarot by Ketchu again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the Amethyst Crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, who's spying on your social media and why? Who's spying on your social media and why? We have the four. Oh, this person. Holy moly. This person's pissed. What? <laughs> Burn my mat. <laughs> we have the four of cups, guys. What did you do to this person? Now they're angry. <laughs> Burning my friggin' table tablecloth man what the heck oh man uh, whew, let's continue this person's pissed 
oh my god like literally like look at this yeah this person's pissed <laughs> whoever this person is <laughs> yo the heck is their problem man i'm gonna have to fix this but yeah let's continue like what this person's on like in their feelings with the four four of cups somebody who feels like it's a missed opportunity with you but they're pissed yo even my nail and everything like holy like what did i do to you whoever this person is <laughs> oh my god the two of wands this is somebody that you've decided to move away from you this like you chose a different direction and now this person is pissed off who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media oh we have the emperor yeah this is like an emperor energy but i feel like this is a negative emperor this is somebody who is very controlling okay like definitely masculine energy this person could be in a leadership position but this is somebody who feels like it's a missed opportunity or like you didn't take their offer and it kind of like it hurt this person's like it bruised this person's ego that you didn't take their offer okay or that you rejected their offer that you chose a different direction for yourself holy moly guys like this person is really pissed like every distraction burning my tablecloth like what is going on this person like when i tell you they're not happy with you they're not happy with the fact that you chose a different direction for yourself and they're letting it be known in this reading because like there's interruption here and there you know like this is a very controlling individual who's spying on your social media mm, somebody who had a lot of options maybe they wanted you to wait on them <laughs> like i'm the prize type of energy very cocky individual yeah this is somebody who was exploring their options with the seven of cups who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media just one card just one please who's spying thank you Ooh, we have the nine of wands this is somebody that may have caused you a lot of anguish anxiety and you let it go with the knight of wands you release that stress you're like okay i'm not dealing with this in situation any longer i'm not dealing with this person any longer i'm moving forward with my life i'm leaving this person behind i'm gonna let them do whatever they want to do but just not here not over here go play with somebody else okay that's the energy that i feel like you're on my pile number three but this person didn't really like that because this person likes to be in control of their environment and the people in their environment but you chose a different direction for yourself with the two of wands and you had no choice because this person like had you backed up against the wall and you see when they're angry when they don't get what they want maybe this person tend to destroy things or to do something to retaliate because it just my mat started burning like what the heck like what like yeah this is somebody who likes maybe retaliates okay or punishes others when you don't do as they say i don't like this person's energy who's oh who's spying on your social media yeah ten of wands like i feel like this person was a burden was too much like too or like overbearing like yeah some of you could be like an ex-husband or ex-wife doesn't matter if it's a woman it could be very very a masculine woman like a woman that's like very controlling that likes to maybe yell or destroy your property like those crazy ones that like to destroy people's property when they're upset and stuff like that and they think it's okay and it's like okay well like no like if he did it to you you wouldn't like it you'd be like calling the police right so why are you doing it to him because he's a man like no that's what i'm getting here those are the type of women like they would destroy your property and then they would start crying and like, oh i'm so sorry no you're not sorry okay you're not sorry you know exactly what you were doing you're not five so like that's what i'm getting here okay so who's spying on your social media yeah like a very like like very immature but it's like 
I feel like this person with the emperor, they may have some sort of authority or power or let or they let their power or authority get to their head. So let's say, for instance, this person could be in a prestigious position, but that's just at work, though. Outside of work, you're just a regular person. Like your title does not follow you outside of work. Like let's say if you are a manager, you're not a manager outside of work. When you go to the grocery store or when you go to the bank and stuff like that, you're just a regular customer. You're not like a manager. So you're not like, why do you ex expect to have like preferent, preference, pre, oh my God, I can't speak. Pre, re, oh, let me just use another word because the word is not coming to me. It's not coming out right. Preferential treatment. Holy moly. You see this person does not want me to talk. That's what this person is expecting to have everywhere they go. And this is the type of person that like may embarrass you in like the mall or embarrass you at the restaurant. Like let's say if something is wrong with their order, they might get really rude or disrespectful to the waiter. Like, you know, let's say if like, you know, oh, I ordered this, but then you gave me this, but this person's gonna be so loud and rude. Oh, I wanna talk to your manager. Like, okay, calm down. Like, you know, the person made a mistake. Like you could just let them know like this is not what I ordered and then it was something else and then they change it for you. No, this person's gonna make a big scene. That's what I'm getting here. And some of you are just like, ugh, you were like, nah, I'm good, yo. <laughs> Who's spying on your social media? Yeah, the hangman. Somebody who may have kept you stuck or trap or this is also somebody who may come from a rich rich family so they could be spoiled. So they think that like everybody's their servant or beneath them. And it's like, okay, who's spying on your social media? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody who's financially stable. Somebody who's like abundant, like financially, but they may not have a lot of friends. Or if they have friends, they're all leeches. People that just, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. They just say yes. Like even though they know this person is wrong, they won't say anything because there's a benefit to being around this person with the king of the queen of pentacles like maybe they like they buy friendship they buy love maybe this person try to control you with money and you're like uh -uh, i have my own money you can't control me like i could make my own money and even if you make more than me that doesn't mean that i need you that's what i'm getting here and you're like uh-uh i'm good who's spying on your social media yeah this is somebody who's immature page of wands they can be very competitive as well with their lovers like this person always has to one up on one up you. This is definitely like a love situation I'm getting. It's like somebody who always has to like let's say for instance like you have some sort of success at work. This person wants to they don't they don't want to see you shine or they don't want to see you win. It's like they always have to be better than you. It's like, "Oh, I got a promotion. Well, my job pays me this much." And it's like, "Okay, why can't you just be happy for me that I had a promotion?" why does it always have to be always have to revolve around you who's spying on your social media yeah nine of cups this is somebody who's very self-centered it's all about their wishes what they want what they need you have to cater to them you have to serve, like i'm telling you somebody who wants to treat people like a servant yeah ace of pentacles somebody who's really like they they have money they have some sort of like success that allows them not necessarily that it allows them but they it, it's like a leverage like they use that to manipulate other people especially people that have low self-esteem or people that are money hungry so they would accept this person's disrespect because they have some sort of status or they have some sort of money while you on the other end you're like uh-uh i'm not doing that like if this is how you're gonna treat me this is how you're gonna talk to me i'm just gonna move forward with my life and like leave you behind and this person is not happy about that with the two wands because you chose like a path that is more beneficial for you than it is beneficial for them who's spying on your social media Who's spying on your social media? Yeah, King of Wands. A fire sign. Or a water sign, because we have Pisces here. But a lot of wands. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is somebody who could be in a leadership position, but they're very possessive. 
who's spying on your social media controlling yeah king of swords strategic very stoic they could be very mean with their words like the king of swords is not like a negative energy but i'm getting a negative energy from this person like they could be mean or very harsh okay so who's spying on your social media yeah you see somebody that you walked away from you're emotionally unavailable to this person with the eight of cups yeah you're no longer investing in this person and they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you who's spying on your social media who's spying on your social media what do we have here Ooh, nine of pentacles in reverse though Mm -mm. I feel like this person pretends to be doing well financially. Maybe they're going through some sort of financial setback. Or they're not living that life of luxury that they they claim to be living. Maybe they front in. Maybe you find you, you found out that this person was front in the whole time. Maybe they made it seem like, oh, I have all this money, I'm financially stable. And then as you got to know this person, this person is actually broke. They front like they're the queen of pentacles, but they're really the nine of pentacles in reverse. And maybe they're mad at you for like leaving them because of that. But I don't feel like, let's say if this is the case for this person, like they're broke. I don't feel like you left them because they're broke. I feel like you left this person because they're acting like they're something that they're not. Like they're, on, they're not authentic. Why would you want to be with somebody who's fake? Who's spying on your social media? Who's spying on your social media? Who's spying on your social media? We have the world card. Yeah, somebody that you put an ending to the connection. Yeah, like you're not investing anymore. What, who's spying on your social media? Who's spying? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is the truth, guys. Yeah, you just decided to leave this person high and dry. Why this? Uh, who's spying on your social media? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody who tells tales. Okay, somebody who's a liar. I feel so. Like you know the truth about this person, and I feel like that's another reason why this person kind of like is upset with you. You know the truth about them. You know who they really are, and not who they pretend to be to the world like this person has like a they have an image to uh, to maintain we have 999 ending yeah you ended this but yeah this person's fake they have an image to maintain and you know the truth about them and this is what's scaring this person too is that you know who they really are behind the scenes so it's not like they cannot pretend with you you see this person's ego is bruised i'm telling you this person is just not happy with you mm -mm. yeah this is somebody that you wanted to have a relationship with or you were in a relationship with this person like but it didn't last that long why are they spying on your social media oh they want to see if you're going to expose them with a judgment card. They're afraid that you might, exp like you have enough dirt on this person to expose them. Why are they spying on your social media? Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles because you're the real deal though. You're you're not pretending, you're, you're financially stable, you are abundant, you're really living that life of luxury. Why are they spying on your social media? Yeah, you see, Seven of Pentacles. They're patiently waiting to see if you're going to expose them. There's an energy of exposing, exposing, exposure. This person's afraid that you might like, yeah, they're afraid that you might expose them about something like their fake lifestyle. Like th that could be like, um, maybe this person's an influencer, but they're pretending to be like, let's say, for instance, the videos that they do online is about, oh, I spent, like, look how I spend, like, a $1,000 a day, or I make $1,000 a day, or, you know, or, like, whatever, the, you know, some influencers lie about their lifestyle. I feel like this is what this person's doing. Like, they're lying about their lifestyle. 
but this is like a somebody that you were dating so whether it's like lying about their lifestyle as being an influencer or just lying about their lifestyle in general and then like you know entertaining multiple women entertaining multiple men um acting like they're single or acting like they're somebody that they're not just because they have some sort of title so i feel like maybe this person makes a lot of money but they may have like really bad spending habits okay just because you make a lot of money it doesn't make you rich it's not how much you make it's how much you keep so this person i feel like they're not really good at managing their money like you are because i feel like you're the king of pentacles you're really good with your finances you have your finances back like you know down pat like you have your investments you know maybe you have mutual funds you have uh like investment properties and stuff like that businesses so you know where your money goes so you're not really faking the funk on social media or you're not even flexing on social media at all while this person is flexing lying but they have debt on top of debt like maybe this is somebody who purchased like a really expensive car but they have to pay it monthly and maybe their monthly payments is like seven hundred dollars or a thousand dollars depending on the kind of car that they got and it's like that's a lot of money to spend on a car every month Plus, you have to pay for insurance and all of the gas. That's a lot of money. So I feel like this person's fake flexing and they're afraid that you might expose them. So who's, why are they spying on your social media? Wow, they're spying to see if you already moved on too with the two of cups. Maybe this person wants to reconcile with you, but they're spying to see if you have a new, a new partner. Why are they spying on your social media? Oh, you see again four of cups because they miss you they regret like playing all these games with you and also let's say for instance if you guys were like in a long-term committed relationship because I feel like some of you were this person did not take their relationship seriously or like maybe you had goals like you wanted to buy a house you wanted to get married while this person wanted to party and spend their money like i feel like a very irresponsible energy from this person because the nine of pentacles in reverse so they're not really good with their money why are they spying on your social media guys didn't i say they miss you i can't make it up six of cups that's why they want to they, they want to reconcile with you and they're wondering if you already moved on to someone else this is like your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend that you were at least i'm getting like at least a year with this person but within that year you're like you notice certain patterns about this person you're like uh -uh, i don't want to do this with this person i'm i'm good but like they're not who they say they are like how they put like um show up to the world and who they are behind the scene is two different people okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye